If you've not paid much attention to video game maps before, this will blow your mind. Some of the maps on this list are bigger than Earth. No. We almost couldn't believe it ourselves. Bigger doesn't always mean better. There's a great thrill of standing at the top of a mountain, looking out at the unending vista before you, and knowing that you can explore every inch of it. Hello and welcome to Retrocade. Today we will look at the 20 biggest open world video game maps of all time. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to not miss any upcoming videos. At number 20 we have The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. It has 82 square miles of expansive terrain to explore, plus additional two game expansions for you to lose yourself in. It's entirely possible to spend days at a time playing this game and never tire of it. Wild Hunt received numerous Game of the Year awards and was cited as one of the greatest video games ever made. At number 19 we have Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Assassin's Creed Odyssey is set in 431 to 422 BC, Greece, including Macedonia, a former Greece territory. Whilst it's definitely not the favorite game of AC fans, its map is certainly the largest, coming in at an estimated 98 square miles. This is close to double the size of Assassin's Creed Black Flag's map. Next at number 18 we have Arma 3. Arma is a realism-based, military tactical shooter, which takes place in the mid-2030s. With over 103 square miles to navigate, and not that much combat, things can get a lot boring. However, dedicated fans appreciate the game's authenticity and intricate detail. Arma 3 won PC Gamer's Simulation Game of the Year. Next at number 17 we have Ghost Recon Wildlands. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands is a tactical shooter video game that was released worldwide on March 7, 2017. The game's developers described it as one of the biggest open-world games that they've published. It includes a ton of different environments, like mountains, forests, salt flats, and deserts. Wildlands won the award for Best Cooperative Multiplayer at Game Informer's Best of 2017 Awards. Next at number 16 we have Operation Flashpoint, Dragon Rising. This is a military simulation game. The game was developed by Codemasters and is the standalone sequel to Operation Flashpoint, Cold War Crisis. Dragon Rising offers 135 square miles of terrain to explore and conquer, which helped save its reputation, as it didn't receive the best response when released in 2009. Next at number 15 we have Star Wars Galaxies. Star Wars Galaxies was a massively multiplayer online role-playing game, released worldwide on Microsoft Windows on June 26, 2003. The game boasted an impressive 200 square miles of space and over 10 planets to explore. However, unfortunately its servers were shut down in 2011, but the game managed to stay alive due to a group of dedicated fans. Star Wars Galaxies sold 370,000 copies in the US by August 2006 and became the country's 43rd best-selling computer game between January 2000 and August 2006. Next at number 14 we have Burnout Paradise. Burnout Paradise is an open-world racing video game that was initially released in 2008 and re-released as a remastered copy in November 2016. Set in fiction Paradise City, there are over 200 square miles of roads to race, and players can either choose to play a single-player campaign mode or an online multiplayer. The game was well-received upon release and won several industry awards in 2008, including Best Driving Game from GameSpot. Next at number 13 we have True Crime, Streets of LA. The 13th biggest open-world map is found inside Streets of LA. With over 240 square miles of city streets to navigate, you're not going to get bored anytime soon. Streets of LA was seen as a bit of a GTA clone and was nowhere near as good. However, one impressive thing was the sheer size of the map, as at that point in time, both technology and the know-how weren't really good enough to pull that off. But, they managed to do it somehow, and the game sold over 3 million copies worldwide. The franchise continued with the sequel, True Crime, New York City. Next at number 12 we have, Just Cause 3. At almost double the square miles as our previous entry, Just Cause 3 is well known for its size and magnitude when it comes to its maps. The action-adventure game was developed by Avalanche Studios and published by Square Enix in 2014. 
It's the third installment in the franchise and received mixed reviews from critics upon release. The game won the Cry Havoc and Let's Slip the Dogs of War award at the Steam Awards 2017. Next at number 11 we have, Asheron's Call. Asheron's Call was released for Microsoft Windows PCs in 1999 and is a fantasy MMORPG. The game is played in a vast, seamless 3D virtual world, which could host thousands of avatars at any given time. It was developed by Turbine Entertainment Software, and its servers were unfortunately shut down in 2017. However, thanks to some dedicated fans and emulation capabilities, the game leaves on and is ready for players to explore. It's about 500 square miles. Next at number 10 we have, Test Drive Unlimited 2. Test Drive Unlimited 2 is an open-world racing game that was developed by Eden Games and published by Atari. It was released on Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360 and received mixed reviews upon release. The game features two islands, with a total of 618 square miles to race around. It features dynamic weather effects, slight cosmic vehicle damage, day and night cycles, and takes place on the islands of Ibiza and Oahu. Test Drive Unlimited 2 is available to play in both single-player and multiplayer. Next at number 9 we have Final Fantasy XV, which has an astonishing 700 square miles of landscape. The fifth biggest open-world map in video game history features an open-world environment where players can experience quick-switching weapons, elemental magic and vehicle travel, and camping. Final Fantasy XV received praise for its gameplay, visuals, an emotional weight, and sold more than 8.9 million copies worldwide by October 2019. Next at number 8 we have, The Crew. The Crew is an online-only racing video game that was released in December 2014. It was developed by Ivory Tower and published by Ubisoft Reflections for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. It's pretty similar to Need for Speed and spans across 1,900 square miles of the United States of America. Players have free roam of the open-world recreation of the United States, and the crew includes both role-playing and larger-scale multiplayer environments. Within a month of release, the crew had sold over 2 million copies worldwide. The sixth biggest open world map in video game history is Guild Wars Nightfall. The 2006 video game offers players one of the biggest open world maps in video game history to explore, and all that extra space comes as an expansion on top of another game. Guild Wars Nightfall received positive reviews upon release and was awarded Best MMO and Best Value from PC Gamer US in 2006. Taking the fifth spot on our list is The Elder Scrolls II, Daggerfall. With a whopping 62,000 square miles, this map is gigantic, and pretty much impossible to navigate without an actual map. Thankfully, players can travel anywhere on the map using the map feature. The map displays hundreds of small dots, which represent the abundant amount of towns, cities, and dungeons to explore. It's the second game in the Elder series and was released on September 20th, 1996. Next at number 4 we have Microsoft's Flight Simulator. The original version of the simulator was released by Microsoft in 1982. This was a time when the most popular video games were played in arcades. Whilst the technology for such a simulator wasn't great back then, Microsoft made sure the simulator was to be updated regularly over time. There are now over 2 million realistic cities you can fly to in the currently available version of Flight Simulator. To be honest, I didn't even realize the world had that many cities until now. Next at number 3 we have, Minecraft. Mojang's Minecraft has become one of the most popular games of all time, among several different age groups. 
with people attempting to replicate their own towns, cities, and even countries within the game, you can be sure there's a ridiculous amount of space available. We've listed the size as unknown, because, well, people have many different answers to the question. Elite Dangerous appears on this list as the second biggest video game map of all time. The game's universe consists of 400 billion star systems, making exploration absolutely endless. The player takes the role of a pilot of a spaceship and explores a realistic, open-world representation of the Milky Way galaxy, with the gameplay being open-ended. And number one in our list as the biggest open-world video game map of all time is No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky was initially released back in 2016, however, it wasn't exactly an audience favorite upon release. After many years of progressive updates, the game has garnered a large fanbase. Whilst it's most likely impossible for somebody to figure out just exactly how big the game's map is, and no doubt they'll try, this is likely to be the biggest video game world we will see for decades. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.